Okay guys, here we are, fresh at the booth. Jared got in here last night and did, of course, another one of his excellent paint jobs. These are the parts of the little 72 VW square back wagon. Everything is looking good. Of course, the color looks different in here for all the fluorescent lighting. Now the owners will be putting this car together themselves, not us. They brought it to us and it was just the pieces were just hung on it with a couple bolts. They're going to do it. They're on a very tight limited budget. So they're going to take the whole car back like this in pieces and put it together. So maybe one day we'll get to see it. But look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. So now I get the joy of loading all these parts up and getting them back home. No, I do not have a paint booth at my house. This is the paint booth that I do have and it is 15 minutes up the road from my place. That's the only one thing I do not have. One day I will have a booth, but right now it's all okay because I don't mind driving 15 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna get these loaded up and we'll get some more filming done for you. Okay, so we're back home here. As you can see, I brought the fenders home. Fenders are home, the hood. I was home yesterday with the car along with the deck lid in the back. Or maybe you would call that the hood because that's actually where the engine is, is in the back. Who knows? I'm not much knowledgeable on these Volkswagens, but they are neat little cars. So Alicia's gonna have a good time. 16 years old, and this is her first car. Look at this thing. Unbelievable. Now remember, this was this week. They had done the bodywork. We just sanded it, touched up a few areas, and gave her a paint job. So I mean, it wasn't like, you know, it wasn't like it was a frame off, but this car is mint anyway. I mean, look at this thing. I mean, look at the shine on that. Jared just laid it down like there was nothing else. So the other parts are still over in the booth that you just saw. We will go and grab those later on. Away we go. Now, let's see what else is going on here in the shop besides that. Chris is out here working on the Mustang. I got him removing the front and rear windows out of this thing. Um, it's time for them to come out. So as you can see, I remember I was been working on the quarter panel there. All I got left on the quarter panel is to finish welding the insert in, and it is done. It's all taken care of up inside. It's all new. So basically, the whole back end of this car is new now. And look at this. We've got floors throughout. And then, then, usually what I do is after, then we'll go around and make sure we didn't miss nothing here, because there's always something you miss somewhere. Well, like I still got to cut this out here where this hole is. Then we'll get into the front of this car. If you thought the back was bad, I showed it before, but look at this. Look at it gone here. It's all been, look at that. It's all gone there. Everything is just rotten. It's all rotten through there. So he did buy this stuff all new. He had to buy this new and he bought it. Apparently it comes as uh, three pieces. All connected together so we'll find out when it gets here later today so that's what's happening there that's it and we'll go into the shop here it's 72 the pro street was up and running which I think you guys saw in a video we're just uh, welding some braces on the box and stuff like that getting that all taken care of underneath now the 80 we got it all texture sprayed inside the floors, and then when Chris got in here and dynamited the whole thing, or x mat I should say, this is x mat made by Eastwood Company. It's actually cheaper than Dynamat, and it's the same product and does just as good as job. And then, I come over here and we got the 58. Sean has been blocking away on it, getting it prepped. This is going for paint next Wednesday. So we're seeing this, you can see where he's blocking. He's got his guide coat on here, see how it's got the blocking her out it's looking really good the hoods off it he's got the hood over in his bay so it's coming along and see he's got his notes here so he knows where he left off 320 320 then he'll go to 400 then he'll go to 600 well he did do all the roof already up there it looks like and I did that before. oh that's right yeah 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 I was gonna say how did he get up there yeah so that's what's happening there what else is going on I don't know that's it. I think that's uh, I think that's all we can show you at the moment. Yeah, I showed him that one. That's the beer chest. 
Yeah, they're 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 saying that it probably doesn't hold enough beer for me to drink. That's true. <laughs> I don't dr I don't drink that much, do I? You can always fill it with rum. Yeah, rum, rum or tequila. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. These people seem to think I drink a lot for some reason. Only in the summer. Only in the summer. That's right. <laughs> it's too cold to drink in the winter. How much booze did we drink last? How much booze did we drink at Merritt that one night? Probably a trunk full. Yeah, and what, what, what were, how many bottles were we passing around that night? Between what was it? There was like six of us here, yeah. and we were passing bottles around, drinking straight out of the bottle. I think we finished four. Four? And we are passing around a fifth. And what size were those bottles? They two, were like... Two sixes, I think. Two sixes. Four of those passing around a fifth, and we started, we never started till like... Eleven or twelve. It was after the last concert. Yeah, and we finished like at three or four in the morning. Yeah. And still got up and got home. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow. Somehow. Because it's always a good time at old time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gas Monkey Garage ain't got nothing on drinking beer with me. No. Nope. Oh, God, I drink him under the table. <laughs> oh. So that's it. So there's what Chris is working on now. And then I'm going to get onto this too. It's a nice, beautiful, sunny day out here in Chilliwack. And actually, you can't even see it, but way, way down the road, I doubt you're going to see it, but way on the other side, my property goes all the way to the end. Past that tree line, past that, there's a little church built in the 1800s. They're filming a movie there. So I think we should go down there and do one big, massive burnout. <laughs> and then, oh, yes, and when here, we got, we got the custom Chevy. Sean's got it all covered up in plastic because he's got to do some priming to do today. He's got the visor for the 58 Chev pickup. He's got to get that all... He did the, there it is, there he did all the body work on it. Very cheap flimsy visor. I will admit this online. I forget where we ordered this from. It's a $200 visor. If you're going to order it, they're not the best. I mean, the thing is like, the metal, it's like a pop can. I mean, it, 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 it just, it, it came with wobbles in it and you go to put it on the truck and it's like, I can't even explain it to you. Um, it's not straight by no means. You bend and play with it and you get it on there and then you got to do body work on it. I, I don't even remember where this visor came from. It was like $200 and really it's just a piece of shit. But it looks good now. Let me flip it over for you. It looks good now though. I forget where this came from. And that was a quickie job. So yeah. Yeah, right? That was yeah. a quickie. Yeah, not, it wasn't a good visor. It's, uh, I don't know. Hey, yeah. You get what you pay for. Yeah, you get what you pay for. That's right, yeah. So anyway, it'll be okay. It'll be okay when it's all done and on there. So that's it. We'll leave you off there. Oh. Man, what a beautiful day. Oh, yeah. Holy God. Can't believe it's January. I know. I can't believe it's Friday. Yeah, Beer drinking day. <laughs> okay. And of course, there's like, like Chris mentioned, there's the trailer. You guys already saw a video on that. It's coming to take that away today. So that's what's going on. Okay, remember, it's always a good time in old time. And uh, it is Friday, so give me a big, give me a big, hell yeah, maybe I'll do a video here and uh, on my next Friday and, and show you um, what kind of rums I prefer. So all you guys out there want to send me some rum, then you'll know what you're buying me. Anyway, I'm just fucking around with you. It's always a good time in old time. We'll see you next time.